everybody, we're back to another episode of Grim Soul Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and today we are back in the huge update 1.6, and today we're going to be going to that new northern area with some of the very best weapons and armor that we got. Why are we doing that? Well, this new area that we're going to is a five skull zone. So for those of you who might not be familiar with the Grim Soul skull system, think of three skulls over here as a red zone. Okay, makes enough sense sense um think of these these have five skulls they are almost twice as hard as the red zones that we're used to seeing and well they are where we are gonna be trotting our way over with our horsey over here over the river to this brand new northern section of the map we explored the four skull forest last time and today we're going to the five skull area why is that because this is actually where we could get a very valuable resource in this game the second tier of metals is known as iron copper and bronze is actually the first tier but iron is the second tier and iron can be found in great abundance in these areas as you can see right there the five skull zone has even more on top of that that is why we are bringing some bronze pickaxes to go ahead and hopefully harvest those if all go well but these are without a doubt the hardest zones in the entire game i don't know what we're getting into but we're gonna get into it anyway hopefully all goes well the sun has just risen and oy vey we spawned right on top of a copper node but that's not what we're interested in. So first off, a lot of the enemies in these zones, you can't even... Oh, mama. All right. Well, already you guys are seeing right there uh, one such spooky enemy. This enemy over here. Now, luckily, we have the ghost sword equipped, which is pretty much the best weapon in the game. But uh, this fella right here is pretty much one of the most... Like, he has uh, the blue ability, which means he's actually going to have a special ability. Oh, he can use shields. Oh, that's a special ability. Well, his shield is up. I'm not entirely sure how to go about this because, yeah, wow, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. Okay, let's go and keep on healing. And let's take down this damned Inquisitor quickly because look at how much dang health he has. We're using the best weapon in the game. And hello, I like the loot that he has. This right here is a skill book, which will actually increase circular impact. An active skill. Let's go, boys. Our very first active skill has just been unlocked let's go ahead and select that and what that means is that well over there when that thing recharges we'll actually be able to utilize that and hit a bunch of enemies in a circle for now we got to go and deal with this damn knight over here and hopefully our armor can stand the test of time because we're going to be taking quite a decent amount of abuse quite a decent amount of abuse from all these enemies and well that's not gonna be good news for our armor and halo oh he's got a bow he's got a bow oh no it's the bow guy oh god dang freaking dark hunter get out of here luckily i could kill him in one fell swoop and luckily i'm seeing what i like right there we got a plague bandit over here this guy also doesn't care about sneak attacks but we'll take him down the casual way no need to worry and our ghost sword is almost done so why don't we switch on over to the claymore this is the Claymore, right? So, oh, who's this guy? Who's this guy? This guy over here is wandering around. Is he coming after me? Oh, no, no, no. It's the guy with the bow. It's the guy with the bow. Oh, my God. He's got that Kobe range, too. Like, he can take you down from afar. Let's go ahead and bring him down, though. And if only they drop better loot. But apparently, there's even, like, flying enemies and whatnot that can attack us in this zone. But this right here. Oh, my God. A Plague Barbarian. Get out of here. All of these plague enemies, these are like the next tier of enemy two. None of them can be sneak attacked. A lot of them are a, a lot of them are a lot more powerful, and some of them even have access and usage of bows. But there we have some very nice stuff being collected. Let's go a boot and get this iron or the main reason that we came over here. I also do want to check out the type of loot that we could get from such a location. Hopefully, before we lose all of our armor, because at that point it will most likely be a lost cause for us. We got a plague bandit over there. And a normal enemy. Oh my god, ain't that a welcome sight? So we can go ahead and take him down. Easy peasy. I know I shouldn't be using the claymore to finish him with that second hit, but I'll take advantage of what I can and look at that beautiful iron ore right there that we'll be able to toss into our furnace back at home and hopefully make some very nice changes. Now, the thing is, did I bring enough? Uh, I, I think I brought enough pickaxes here to hopefully get a lot of these ores harvested hopefully i brought enough to get all of it harvested because like i'm saying this is the main resource of this area we have someone coming after us we got a damned knight that we must battle against and so be it battle we shall but death to thee my friend and he'll be dropping some decent stuff over there but apparently there's even like flying enemies that i think attack us in these five skull zones that 
we can't even attack with melee weapons like i think we literally need to use ranged weapons which is why we have this bone bow over there in all of its glory to help us out in such endeavors but for now let's go and get the rest of this iron ore looks like we got some enemies over this way looks like a ranged guy and then i think maybe the witch oy vey that is the witch that is the witch Okay, okay, so we're gonna try to draw this hunter away from the witch so we can go and 1v1 him a little bit more properly here, lads. Uh, there we go. Hello, Dark Hunter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this... That's a Templar. God dang it. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to take this guy down. Oh, my God. I, we just ran into a Dark Knight. Okay, we're just running into all sorts of enemies. I also brought the Night Guest Sickle. This thing is a very power... Oh, baby. That's why it's very powerful. It has a chance at insta-killing. Game, don't be lagging now. At insta-killing anyone we get into combat with that is currently not happening how okay there we go unfortunately sometimes it takes some swings oh my god there's even more of you coming after me hold on i got some pumpkins over here i could use let's get to healing and let's get to sickle in and if we die over here it's gonna be really bad guys because we cannot recover our loot these are randomly generated zones which is what, which is what makes these so trying so tough and so spooky because like our armor here is on its last limbs and this armor is a big part of what's keeping us alive i do have oh, oh, the bat the bat that i spoke of it poisoned me get out of here bat oh my god this is exactly what i'm speaking of oh my god i'm getting very poisoned we gotta take this guy down i was not expecting this this is exactly what i was talking about freaking flying enemy can you just die already stop poisoning me please there we go jesus and he doesn't even drop anything that good he ate some berries well i'll eat your berries big boy give me those so i could hopefully stay alive over here uh we could use that if needed but this is what I'm talking about. Like, if we we might need to run out of here. Our little thing did recharge, though, so we could do that circular attack. Let's go back to something a little bit more powerful, however. Um, do we have any type of food? We didn't really get a lot of food either. We do have these Mandrake Tinctures, which might actually be a very good type of healing item. Because those will make us also uh, heal over time and extra attack speed for 20 seconds. So those are, like, a really good potion we could use. Let's go ahead and use up one of our bandages. And if we get into some trouble... I think that's going to be the way that we get out of the trouble. But those dire bats are that frightening enemy that I was talking about. And you guys are seeing the scale of difficulty that this zone has. And, okay, so here's where the witch is. Oh, what's going Another one? Are you kidding me? Get out of your bat. Oh, my God. This is not going to be good. This is no bueno, friend. At least we can try to take it out in a couple more shots here. And it should be going down. Although we also might be going down soon here, too. All right. We activated that thing. A little bit of a waste, but it, it was just there. It was convenient. Okay, so here is where the witch comes into play. If we could get sneak attack off on witch, off it are saying to you, Mrs. Witch. Because if the witch, uh, well, if she started screaming, if we couldn't kill her with a sneak attack, long story short, things have gotten very bad very quickly. God dang it, another damn Templar. Okay, this is where I'm getting a little bit spooked. Um, um... Um, um, I'm gonna put some stuff away really quickly just in case we die. Uh, the super valuables over here, and okay, just get a little bit of separation from you. They just keep on throwing enemies our way, man. Like, you gotta come here kitted. And, uh, unfortunately, we might not be as kitted as need be, so... Mm. I might try to grab my last little bit of armor that I got chilling in my inbox from a couple of packs that we opened up in the past, and, uh... I mean, ah, dude, I don't know, like... I've been saving that, but I think this might be a good occasion because this five skull location is absolutely insane in terms of difficulty. Let's activate. Do we activate that thing or do we wait maybe because it does heal over time? YOLO, let's get into it. Let's dive in, lads. Okay, now let's start activating it. Okay, and of course he dies right there. I'm not complaining. We got some pretty decent stuff, but yet another tincture was put a little bit. Oh, God dang it. Get out of here, you freaking dark hunter. I'm gonna kill you. One sec. Oh my God, you shot me naked. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're definitely taking a break real quick. Stepping out for a second. Gotta take a breather. And, uh, well, put on some clothing. Because if we're naked, we're definitely gonna die. So this is the last little bit that we got. I did have one single scale armor and one single bronze pantalones. And this is gonna be the main thing that's gonna be trying to keep us alive. So here's hoping. We did also, hey, get a healing property over there with the ale, which if we select that as one of our passive skills, I believe makes ale heal more, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Unfortunately, we don't have any ale on us, but so be it. All right, we got to get back to focusing. I'd love to search one of the chests that this location has to just see maybe the type of loot that we could potentially... Oh my God, everyone's just dying. To see the type of loot that we could potentially get, but we got to remember why we came here. 
and that was for the iron so as much as i'd love to look for such a chest we gotta remember where our priorities are we've taken down quite some tough enemies not to mention rare enemies like that enemy at the beginning that had the blue name those are extra hard and you guys could tell because he had an extra skill that he was using that we've never encountered before at least i don't think and that was he was able to use a shield now currently i am a little bit shieldless which is probably not a good thing to be because the shield does let us block and attack every once in a while not to mention add on a little bit of armor on top of it pretty consistently but, uh, oy vey, at least we could go and try to get some iron out of this, and I I'll be happy if we could get out of here after using up these entire two bronze pickaxes, but this place is a death trap and a half because it just sucks because you can't even sneak attack some of the enemies. Like, this guy over here, like, he's not gonna care. Oh my god, that's a spooky noise. But he's not gonna care that we're sneaking. Oh, never mind, he cared. Th oh, is it because that's a dark hunter? Maybe I'm thinking of the guys who have plague in their name. That might be it, honestly. So let's go and try to take down this damn knight over here. Oy vey, we got a plague bandit over here to take down. Boop. Let's go and take you down and... Ah, there we go. Beautiful. I'll use up one of those to heal us back up to full. Ooh, we got a scroll with some woods. Very good. Although I'm interested in loot, not woods. I'm sorry. Um, we got a lot more enemies up there. We got a chest over there. Oh, that chest is protected by way more people. Um, what type of enemies are here? Any that we could sneak attack. And the problem is, the longer that we spend in this zone, the worse that it gets. Which is an extra reason to kind of be a little bit spooked. Um, alright, so I'm gonna try and just see. Can I loot this in peace, or am I gonna get yelled at? Oh, Plague Barbarian over there with the hammer is not happy with me, but I'm not happy with him, so it evens out. Although he does make some spooky noises. I don't want to jinx anything, but nothing's run at us in a while. Which is kind of a good sign, and we'll at the very least be able to check out one of these chests. But look at all the iron that's available here. If you could clear out this entire zone, you should be able to net a lot of iron, which is very nice. And hello! That was some very nice loot. That, if I'm not mistaken, yep. We got some soul shards, which we could use to actually level up some skill-related stuff and perk-related stuff. So already off to some great stuff over there. Let's continue collecting this iron, however. And hopefully, uh, okay, tool number one is broken, but we still got the second bronze pickaxe that we brought, and is, ah, I just want to make sure that we don't die. That's the little thing that has me spooked. But if you guys are enjoying the series and the video and whatnot, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button and saying so down below, because I'm a man of the people. And if you guys are enjoying the Grim Soul, there will be whoop, 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 more Grim Soul to come. First things first, less, less bandit to come. We had to take him out and ooh. They're protecting two chests, so maybe we'll try to take them down too. But uh, yeah, go ahead and let me know, not to mention what you guys think of this five skull location, its difficulty, its prizes, any and all that type of jazz over in the comment section down below as well. I'm absolutely looking forward to hearing it. Not to mention being subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with a Grim Soul Survival series and many other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. But for now, the only thing going up is this video of us taking down this five skull location and within said video we're about to take down a couple of poor schmucks over here that's a plague barbarian so maybe no that's another plague barbarian so a vitasane no so we can we're getting the sneak attacks off on them which is why i'm confused because in the update notes they said that some of those you can't sneak attack maybe it's just like the bandit guy that can't be sneak attacked i i could maybe see that our weapon is getting a little bit hurt, but I'm sure we'll be able to survive. We've got another enemy over this way. Computer, do not lag right now. Now is not lag time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a little bit too close for comfort. My computer loves to lag at the absolute worst times, but I think that... I think that this one's letting us sneak attack because, like, the range on the Claymore is so far... Like, oh, they, oh no, god dang, freaking one of those dudes. Ow. All right, why don't we go ahead and bandage up a little bit? Let's try to draw him a little bit closer and further away from his adversaries. So that way we could take him down pretty normally right here. See ya. Oh, did he shoot that off? God dang, I got an arrow sticking out of my chest. Ooh, I got a bowstring coming in my way, though. A little bit of drank coming in my belly. And, well, we're about to have two more chests coming our way. And all these chests so far. At least the one that we opened seemed to be pretty good. But here we're going to be opening three total, taking that one into account. So this should give us a very good idea of the type of loot to expect out of this location. And so far, it seems to be pretty formidable. Definitely not a pushover in the loot department, which is pretty cool to see. Let's go ahead and eat up the hollow berries. We don't need those. And after we went out, out of the map and back in, like, they kind of chilled on us. 
They didn't attack us as much, so that's kind of hello. That's what I like to see, but ooh. Ah, uh, YOLO. Let's just go ahead and read that. We can learn a valuable skill from that. Collect some more shards and other miscellaneous, yet equally wonderful things. And there we go. Let's continue collecting this iron now, using up the rest of this pickaxe. And then we can go ahead and explore the rest of this five skulls and see what other shenanigans we could get ourselves within. But for now, the shenanigans seem to be okay. Uh, we got, oh, there are inventories for you, say. Um, in that case, something's got to go. So what's gonna go? All right, you know what? I'm sorry, Mr. Lock. I, I am not in need of lock at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. I'm in need of more iron, and that's exactly what we're about to be getting. I just don't know how much longer this pickaxe is gonna last. It's probably gonna, like, break right after this one. I'm calling it right now. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's less like a couple of nodes worth, I'd say. So let's continue trying to collect those nodes. We've already gotten all of these over here. we got a couple more out east, and ooh... Another chest as well, so I think that might be a decent chest to go for. Oh, I'm hearing such weird noises, man. I think that's from the new types of enemies. That's the only thing that makes sense at the moment. Because, I, I don't know. I'm just not used to hearing those types of noises. It sounds like freaking Cthulhu drowning or something. Which is weird, because Cthulhu should not be drowning. Oi, 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 oi. Hello, Plague Barbarian. Oh, he stunned me. Okay, so that's what he can do. He can stun people. Good to know. Are you sure I can't steal that hammer? Take it home with me? It looks like a very fun hammer. I'd, I'd love to give it a go. Try it out in some situations, you know? But all right, here we go. Another Plague Barbarian. This one should be going down with a single swipe. And our level should be going up upon completion of said swipe. Oh my god, with all these swipes, I'm feeling like Tinder right now. But then we got a Plague Bandit over here. Is it the Bandit that we can't sneak attack? Yeah, it, that's what it is. I think we can't sneak attack the Bandit. Maybe. Because we've been pretty consistently sneak attacking the Barbarian and the Dark Hunter. But the Bandit, I think. It might be because he's a Bandit. He's used to being sneaky deaky. So he kind of knows what to suspect. You know, knows what to expect when we're getting close. And a hello. All wonderful things. I just don't want to spend too much time in here. Because then what goes wrong is, uh, well, enemies could run at us. Although, like I'm saying, they haven't run at us in a while, which is kind of a good sign. I'm kind of excited about. Because that means peace. Oh, well, we just broke that into pieces, too. So, brant, brant. But we can collect that bad boy. And I would like to get these orts. Oh, look at that. Beautiful swap, beautiful trade. And maybe... Do we continue exploring... Ah, uh, I mean, there's just so many different enemies we could run into. I'm not sure I want to, because they're very dangerous over here. But there might be more chests. And with those more chests, maybe, just maybe, they might contain some tools. Some bronze pickaxes. Eh? Eh? Yeah, we're going to be walking out of here with, like, almost two full stacks of iron ore. Which hopefully we could smelt at a decent rate. And uh, hopefully have a, a stack of iron to work with. Which should let us craft up some pretty decent armor as well. I'm just trying to patrol the perimeter here and see if there's uh, anything we could notice from afar. Because I'm just, I'm not trying to draw these guys' attention. Because that's when the bad stuff starts happening. And dude, just look at how big this map is. We only scratched the surface of these five skulls. And we definitely got our fair share of the skulls. I think that one goes without saying. But all right, I uh, like, I, th there could be more stuff over there, but there's a lot of enemies over there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we still got some armor. YOLO, let's get this guy over here. Hello, hello, Mr. Dark. Oh, God dang it, that's the hunter. All right, well, he's going to Kobe us from far away. That's not even Kobe, dude. He's pulling out the curry range over there, and he's going to try to approach us a wee bit closer, and that's when we could take him down. But dang, dude, he's chipping a decent amount of health off of us, which is a little bit on the poopy side. And all right, we've cleared ourselves a little bit of a path here, lads. A little bit up north. And no one's noticing us, which is good. We continue trying to stray away and see if maybe there's another chest over here. But it does appear that there's not going to be such a chest. So I think we've gotten everything that this zone does have to offer. I'll look around a little bit more. And also, as you guys can see, there are a couple of iron nodes kind of scattered about. But for the most part, it does appear that the iron nodes are very clustered together. Just like last episode when we checked out the four skull version of uh, the, the birch forest. Yeah, when you checked out the four skull version of the birch forest, 
That's when we found out that they were clustered a lot, and here, the iron ore appears to take a bit of a similar approach and is also very clustered, but... Oh, did we get all the chests, right? We opened these four. I feel like there might be another one, but... I don't know, man. I'm not really seeing anything else, and... I think we've already checked out most of the map. I'm like, when I'm looking at the map, by the way, a lot of times, guys, I'm looking up here in the upper right-hand corner so we could see those symbols from further away because usually we could see a symbol before we could actually see it on the map. Case in point, oh, look at this beautiful chest right there. Oh, look at that. We can see the chest all the way from over here. We definitely can't be seeing it on our screen, but I think it might be time for us to dip ski on out of here. It looks like it's calmed down a little bit, which is good because that might actually be a good sign for all of us, and I got to feed you so I could hopefully get home. That's another thing I'm a little bit worried about, but look at, look at here, lads. All of the marvelous iron our horse could hold, and Jesus, I love our horse. I think this looks majestic, but the problem arises in that, let's go ahead, let's saddle up, but the problem arises in that, well, we need some more oats to get Mr. Horse home, because if we want to bring him home to safety, which is what you have to do with your horse, that's going to take 68. We do not have that. We can safely travel back to the mainland, though. But with that said, with that done, I think it's going to start bringing an end to this episode of Grim Soul Survival because we blew through quite a decent amount of resources. We had a lot of stuff break on us. We're walking out of here with a lot of stuff too, though. A lot of pretty decent things. We learned some skills and we do have that active skill, which I do want to try out. But I don't want to be experimenting with things for the first time in a five skull zone. Especially one that if we die over there, all of our stuff will disappear into thin air so with that let's dip ski on out of these northern lands and all of their danger thank you for all the iron you supplied to me mr iron hills like what are you called over here oh the iron cliffs my bad these are the iron hills over here and uh we still we could still check out the five star or five skull version of that and the four skull version of the iron areas but we've kind of seen how the difficulty scales with it we've encountered some of the flying enemies and We've had the poop scared out of us quite a bit because we've had quite a few close calls, but like I'm saying, with- Oh, you know what else I'm gonna do? Let's try and use this right now. Just YOLO. Whoop! Cannot be used. Never mind. Can't use it. <laughs> God dang it. But like I'm saying, that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of Grim Soul Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. Can't wait to continue exploring this update. We have explored the Northern Lands and all of their beauty. We've checked out the two different types of areas and both the Four Skull and Five Skull versions. We do still have, however, some new stuff to try out, such as the Alchemist Table. Let's just make sure no one's running up on us. And hopefully, and trying out a couple of the new weapons, such as the Kriegsmesser. Just make sure that no one's running up on us. And, of course, I do think that there's another thing we could learn. I'm not 100% sure. We might be able to, but yeah, definitely. I do want to get the Kriegsmesser and definitely get that new alchemy thing figured out. Because those are some of the big things added in. And Alchemist too. once we do enough alchemy, we might be able to do some very nice trades with the traders and hopefully profit quite a little bit. But with that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.